When her daughter was killed 11 years ago, no one would have blamed Stephanie Shirley if the grief had broken her spirit. And now dealt another tragedy and a cancer diagnosis, Stephanie keeps fighting back. It is her courage that makes her someone you should know. Stephanie Shirley rang the end of chemo bell at Pluto Cancer Center last week. 2018 has just been one of those years. It is very great to follow you. You might know part of Stephanie's story. Her daughter Katie was one of five teens killed in a crash in 2007, just days after their graduation from Fairport High. Stephanie responded by creating a charity supported by jewelry sales that celebrated her daughter's spirit. She also organized blood drives every year in memory of Katie and her friends. She never got over the loss, but she kept going. There's two ways you can go. You can be a downer and, and as good of friends as family and people can be, they can only last so long, and you just have to take it one day at a time. Then comes this year, on the same day that Stephanie was diagnosed with breast cancer, she learned that Larry, a relative who was like a son to her, had died in a car crash. His young wife survived. It was my second chance in life, and 32 years old, he was gone. And yeah, it would have been easy. To, it would have been easy to call my head, call, call on a bed, and put my head up, sheath over, and not get up. As Stephanie dealt with more grief, her battle with breast cancer got more difficult than expected. So, she gathered her soul sisters, and they are making earrings to give to other cancer patients. They call it pick a pair to go with your chemo hair. I realize, as I've been in the hospital quite a bit in the ER rooms, that there are people that don't have anybody. And that, make, that makes me very sad. It's more to say you're not alone. Mm -hmm. And, um, and you know, it's a challenging road. Just kind of be prepared for that. Grief and cancer have left scars. But Stephanie Shirley keeps going. And as Thanksgiving nears, even after all she's been through, she is grateful. I could never have made this alone. Um, I am fortunate, I am very blessed to have a fabulous family and extended family and amazing friends. Um, and there have been times when I've stumbled and not only do they pick me up, but they push me forward. In several rooms in Stephanie Shirley's house, there is a quote on the wall from author Mary Ann Rodmacher. It says, courage doesn't always roar. Sometimes courage is that quiet voice at the end of the day saying, I will try again tomorrow. Stephanie's remarkable courage and her resilience make her someone you should know. Absolutely. I get the feeling she doesn't even realize how inspiring she is. She does. She's very humble. She wanted the whole earring thing to be a secret. Oh. And she said, Emblidge, you're ruining that for me. I said, it's okay. I'm going to ruin it for you. But uh, she finds ways to give back yeah. when you think she needs to have people given to her. And she's she... been doing it for a long time. Long time. Yeah. Wow, great story. We wish her well. Still ahead, why CNN is suing President